Welcome to Scrapbook My Life, where I tell you an embarrassing story to save you from making the same embarrassing mistakes I did. Dress codes are so annoying. It's like, I get it, we have to wear nice, normal clothes to school, but does there really have to be so many rules? Like, would it really be that bad if someone wore earrings bigger than the size of a nickel? But as annoying as it is, don't try to outsmart the dress code. Trust me, the dress code will win. I was in sixth grade and I had just bought my first CD. It was one of those punk CDs with loud guitars and a guy with cool black hair on the front. This was the beginning of my rebellious phase. My friends and I all followed the rules. We all had really good grades. We were always on time for any and all after school activities. So when I announced that I was going to be the rebellious friend, I didn't have much competition. My first act of rebellion was to grow my bangs long, like the guy on the CD cover. My parents rolled their eyes, but didn't really care. Everything was fine until I was sitting with my friends at lunch one day. The vice principal came up to us. Becky looked at Ashley. Ashley looked at Katie. Katie looked at me. I looked at Becky. What could the vice principal possibly have to say to us? You girls have a dress code violation, the vice principal said. We all froze. Sarah, those bangs have to be above your eyebrows, he said. I told him I was so sorry and that I would cut my bangs before Monday. That night, my best friend Katie came over. I stared sadly into the bathroom mirror as she held a pair of scissors up to my beautiful bangs. I liked my bangs, and I wasn't ready to be done with my rebel phase yet. What would the guy on the front of the CD do if someone told him to cut his hair? Katie opened the scissors, put them right up to my bangs, and then... Stop! I yelled. I smiled a sneaky little smile. I have an idea, I said. I grabbed my dad's shaving razor from the bathroom counter and shaved my right eyebrow off. Then I did the left one. There, my bangs were technically above my eyebrows if I didn't have any eyebrows. Katie was speechless. Monday morning, I walked down the hallway beaming. I may have not had eyebrows, but I still had my bangs, and that was what was important. My first class came and went. No one said anything. I cautiously walked into my next class, sure that this would be the class that I got caught, but again, no one said anything. By the time lunch rolled around, I had almost forgotten about my eyebrow heist. My friends and I were having a normal time laughing about Becky's weird sandwich when the vice principal walked up to our table. We all froze again. He studied my face. I stayed quiet. I had come this far and I wasn't going to rat myself out now. After a while, he asked, did you shave off your eyebrows? I nodded. My bangs are technically above my eyebrows now, I admitted embarrassed. The vice principal laughed so hard he had to lean on the table. Then he told me I still had to cut my bangs. I spent the next four months with short bangs and no eyebrows. Rebellious phases are normal and punk CDs with loud guitars are cool but just make sure you don't make any rash decisions that might leave you without eyebrows.